Welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Melly Martinez's Crybaby Perfume Milk. So this perfume technically was announced and launched at the end of 2016, um, but due to some delays in shipping and whatnot, um, it didn't actually ship out until um, the middle of January, uh, meaning we just now got them. Um, people are just now getting them if they purchase them. Um, with this, I was a little upset that there, like, the shipping was delayed on it, because it was supposed to be here at the end of December, and then it got pushed back. But, the box is really cool, so it's in, like, a can, like, almost like a Peanuts can or whatever, and it says, Melina Martinez Crybaby Perfume Milk, not for consumption, 75 milliliters, 2.5 ounce, and it's kind of got, like, this nostalgia look to it. The top has, um, Melanie Martinez's Crybaby Milk logo, uh, putting in it. So it comes off like this, and there's actually a kind of like a safety seal that says Crybaby on it. And then you actually pull this off, and I already took mine out of the bottle, or uh, the box, but you've got confetti in there, and then there's also like a. I don't know if you guys can see, there's also like a piece of plastic that goes over top of the bottle that holds it in, so like everything's all nice and safety and secured. Um, I really like the whole, like, concept behind this packaging, so I kind of wanted to keep everything nice and together with it, if that makes any sense. Um, so that looks like that. It's literally like a tin can. And then your bottle looks like this. So it says, Melanie Martinez's Crybaby Perfume Milk, not for consumption, on the front here. Um, and it's got a baby bottle nipple up here, which is like a real baby bottle nipple. Um, all four sides are in kind of that milky color, except for the back, which it says, um, happy, almost gone, and dead. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And it actually is, like, milk colored, which I think is really, really cool and really unique and different. And then, so the top comes off, and you twist it like that, and your sprayer looks like this. And the other cool thing about the sprayer is, it says... Oh, let's see if I can get it to say, can focus. It says fuck off on it, which I find really funny. And what's even funnier is on the back of the bottle, it's got a parental advisory. Or on the box, it says a parental advisory. Um, but you've got, like, all this information on the side of the bottle, or the box. That kind of gives all this information. So this fragrance wasn't actually made by, like, a perfume company. Um, it was actually produced and sent out via her... Uh, record label, so I find that really, really cool. So, notes for Crybaby Perfume Milk are... Top notes are dark fruit notes, strawberry milk, and lipstick accord. Middle notes are baby lotion accord, and um, base notes are burnt caramel and sinister woods. So, I will say I really like this fragrance because it is definitely unique and something different than we've had out on the market, but it's not so different that it's like, what the hell was she doing? So... When you first spray it, you get kind of those berries and the strawberry milk, but you get more of like the strawberry than the milk at the first spray. You definitely get like the dark berries, and there's almost a little bit of a floral to it as well. Um, but definitely as it starts to dry down a little bit more, that lipstick accord comes out and gives it kind of a cosmetic-y smell. Um, as you start to dry down more of this fragrance and you get into the heart, the fragrance definitely, that baby lotion accord pulls off and is definitely kind of the standout note throughout this entire fragrance. As it starts, you know, kind of drying into that heart, it never really loses its top. The top just kind of transforms a little bit into the base and gives it kind of this berry-esque, lotion-y, cosmetic-y smell with a slight sweetness which is coming from that burnt caramel from the base. And it definitely does have like even a slight woody note from the base. Um, but what what's cool about this is it definitely is nostalgic and it, I feel like it fits the whole theme very well. It is definitely very baby-esque, very um, soft and powdery. 
and my husband didn't really know what the whole kind of concept behind this was, and he said to him it smelled like a, like a one-year-old baby who had been freshly changed, and what he meant by that wasn't, like, it doesn't have, like, a baby powder note to it, or it's not, like, super powdery, but it has that kind of, like, clean baby lotion-y, like, fruity vibe to it, and I actually really, really like this fragrance. On me, it smells really, really good as well. Um, I'm definitely pulling, you know, that kind of creamy, cosmetic-y vibe from this, which I really, really like. If you aren't a huge cosmetic-y scent fan, you probably won't like this fragrance, just because it does have that kind of lipsticky, lotion-y scent pulled into it. Um, I definitely think this is kind of a daytime fragrance and definitely something that could be someone's signature scent. To me, it doesn't really fall into a season. If you had a season in it, I would say it would probably be spring, but definitely it's kind of an all-year-round um, daytime signature type of scent. Um, I really, really like this fragrance, and I really like how unique and everything was with this fragrance, just because it was different and something that hadn't been done before. Um, and just there's little touches that went into this bottle that you can definitely tell were hand done, and I really, really like that about this fragrance. So, lasting power, I'm getting probably about six hours for a total lasting power. It's not too bad, but it's not amazing. It is an eau de parfum, which is really nice, so it will last you all day. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be any lotions for this fragrance, but definitely if you went just to go get, like, baby lotion, I'm sure it would complement well with this fragrance. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Melanie Martinez's Crybaby Perfume Milk. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Source Perfume. The links in the description below. As always, more and more stuff coming up this week, and I'm so excited for it, so stay tuned. And I'm glad you guys have been enjoying this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.